contemplated for a long time whether or not I wanted to put makeup on for this video. And then I decided, nah. <laughs> Hi everyone! Hi friends! Welcome to Dotting with Diamonds. My name is M, and this is my face. Cool. <laughs> so we got that out of the way. Um, this is a little different, but it's exciting. I'm excited to do this video. I think it'd be really fun. So this is the mid-year diamond painting tag as created by Dazzle Driller on Instagram. I will lick her. Lick her. I will not lick her. I will not. <laughs> oh, I will link her. Wow, we're off to a great start. I will link her down in the description for you to check her out and maybe participate in the tag yourself. Um, it seems like a lot of fun and I actually was planning on doing something like this anyway. So yeah, so we're just gonna do it. Um, so how this works is there are seven questions that I have to answer about um, my diamond painting experience from the first half of the year because we're halfway through the year already. How did that happen? When, when did that happen? I don't, I don't understand. We already lost a year because of what's been going on in the world. And now I feel like my life is flying away from me now. <laughs> okay. Um, so let's just get right into this. I'm so excited. Okay. Um, I have my little notebook where I wrote down all the questions that we're going to answer today. Um, I actually want to save the last question here for last, um, because that is, that question is how many kits have I completed so far this year? Um, and I want to take you on a tour of all the kits I've completed. So we're going to save that for last. Um, cause it's a decent amount. It's a decent amount. So we're going to start with number two on this list, but it's going to be number one for me. That was very long and convoluted, but here we go. Um, so what's been my biggest diamond painting? Well, the biggest diamond painting that I've completed has been so many books, so little time. I think, I think, I'm actually not sure if that would be correct, but it seems like it would be. I think it is. But the one that I'm currently working on, one of my current work in progress is Spirit of Flight. That is the largest diamond painting I've ever worked on. That one's 105 centimeters by 70 centimeters. And I think, I think so many books, so little time is, mm, is 136 centimeters by 56 centimeters. So it's tinier width wise, but larger length wise. I can't think of the word. I'm all discombobulated from having you face me. <laughs> I hope I'm looking at the camera, by the way. If I'm not, I'm I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm doing this on my phone, so it's just very weird to have you facing me this time. Um, yes, so let's take you into my bedroom where I have so many books, so little time hanging up, because if I take that down off of the tack that it's on, I'll never get it back up there. So, so let's go take a look at it. So thank goodness I actually kept the bottom part of the canvas on <laughs> where it says the the length and the width of the painting because I totally lied to you. It's 56 by 109 centimeters, which I still think is the largest that I've completed. I think. Okay, so moving on to the next one. Um, what's been your smallest diamond painting you've completed? So give me a second. I got to pull it out of my portfolio here. <laughs> so this is the smallest diamond painting that I have completed this year. This took me all of three hours to do, like one day, one sitting I did this painting in. Um, this is from Diamond Dots at Home. It is so sparkly and I think it actually came with two ABs. Yeah, I see two ABs on there. It is so cute, it was so quick. Um, I'm actually a distributor for Diamond Dots at Home. I don't really plug that because, I don't know, I just don't. Um, but I'll link it in the description if you want to check out some of the kits I have on that site. Um, but this is where that kit is from. So if you like it, maybe, maybe check it out. Maybe. I don't know. <laughs> but I do have that. And so, that yeah. <laughs> um, 
do want to put a little disclaimer i do make a very small profit off of those paintings that you purchase from my specific website link um but it will go right back to this channel and to other fun things that i can create for you guys um so yeah so this is the smallest what size is it it's 22 by 22 centimeters <laughs> it's pretty freaking tiny but it's cute look how cute it is and of course we'll go on a tour and you can see the sparkle and all that fun stuff next question what's been your favorite kit so far <sighs> that clip that I just inserted there for the second time. <laughs> I am in love with So Many Books, So Little Time by Randall Spangler and Diamond Art Club because it was one of the, it was one of those kits that I saw sneak peeked last year and I was like, I that's the one kit that I absolutely need in my life. I don't care if I ever do another diamond painting in my life, this has to be the one that that I do and hold on getting a phone call sorry for that weird cut I don't know if it looked weird but I'm just saying sorry because my boyfriend called me so okay I think the question I was on is what's been my favorite kit yes so many books so little time is my favorite that I've ever worked on of all time not even just the just this year but of all time I've only been diamond painting for I've only been diamond painting a full year but this half year I don't know what I'm saying there was something about so many books so little time that just topped every single other canvas I've ever done no canvas I've ever done since so many books so little time has come close to that canvas and I think it has something to do with the level of detail in that canvas and how the colors pop off of the canvas it's it's like a true 5d canvas however however i'm working on the old shoe house right now from diamond art club and i think that one i think it may top so many books so little time because it, it looks oh my god it looks incredible um but i there, i had no problems with that canvas i enjoyed every second of it i was never bored ever of that canvas ever and i've gotten bored of a lot of canvases <laughs> so yes so many books, so little time, which I probably have already inserted the same clip that you saw before to show you that it's my favorite kit. Because I, again, I cannot take that down <laughs> from where it's hanging because I won't be able to get it back up. Okay. So what's been my most disappointing kit? Give me a second. This looks humongous. <laughs> oh god. Because it is. This is a huge kit. Um, yeah. Crazy Cat Lady by Hannah Lynn from Diamond Art Club has been my most disappointing kit this year. Um, I'm not gonna go too much into why I did a whole post review on it. I'll put it in the eye so you can view it after watching this video. Um, yeah, I just <sighs> I had a lot of trouble with this kit. I let it's a lot of 310, but it makes it look incredible. This kit is looks amazing. I'm not gonna lie. It, it I bought this kit because I just felt like it was me <laughs> with with the messy hair and the green eyes and the cats and the books in the background. It was me. So I was really excited about doing it, and it just fell really short of my expectations. And I really, I honestly couldn't tell you why. Um, the black outline, I think. I really struggled with and I don't I've done like kits with a lot of outlined black before but I ne and I never had an issue but this one I really did but I think it was because of you see that greenish color in the chair there you see that that was throughout the entire canvas that was throughout the cabinets here this is ridiculous <laughs> This was throughout the cabinets here. This was all in the cats. This cat, um, a lot of people call this cat Franken Kitty. Um, I could have changed this cat to all white, but I decided not to. Um, this cat was green because for some reason, DMC 647 has a greenish tone to it. And in a lot of kits, it 
it works, but this kit, it did not work. It did not work. Things were supposed to be great in this kit and they were not. And I changed so much of that gray, so much of it I changed in this kit to make it just look more, less green <laughs> because it wasn't supposed to be green. Um, and the fact that I had to do that and I had to wait, I had to buy a grayer, um, a grayer set of 647 and from Diamond Drills USA. And thank goodness they were gray because it was killing me. The green was killing me and I, I couldn't do it. I just couldn't do it. And um, so because of all that and because of just the other issues that I'm sure I talked about in the post review, um, this just was my least when did my camera move? <laughs> so because of all those issues and because of all that, this was just my least favorite kit that I've completed so far this year. And I just popped a drill out. And just, where did this even come from? This is a 310 drill and I have so many. So whenever, if I ever decide to hang this up, I'll just look for it then. Cause I can't be bothered right now. I'm in the middle of a video, but yes, least favorite kit. Sorry, crazy cat lady. I'm sorry. I wanted to love you. I wanted to love you so much. Okay. End of the dramatics. <laughs> um, what's the kit you're most looking forward to completing in 2021? So, um, without hesitation, it's probably the old shoe house. I have been looking forward to doing that kit since I've gotten it. And the reason I held off on it, I think I got it in... I want to say February of this year and I really wanted I wanted to do it right away but I decided you know what I'm gonna hold off because I really love this kit I don't want to finish it like right away as soon as I get it I want to hold on to it for a little bit but now I am working on it so shameless plug um if you look in the description I have linked my Instagram I post all of my work in progresses over there um, there's some other stuff over there too there's some unboxings on that Instagram that you can check out um, and you can see my progress on the old shoe house over there, Spirit of Flight over there, all the stuff that I'm working on. Okay, anyway. <laughs> yeah, so I'm looking forward to completing the old shoe house, but there's another kit that I'm also looking forward to completing, and that's Lavender Witch from Dye Moon Shop. I've never done a kit from Dye Moon Shop yet. I only have one. I have one right now because they're ridiculously expensive, like ridiculously. But I also did that unboxing on Instagram, which you can check out at my Instagram. Um, I'm really looking forward to doing that one because I just, when I unboxed it, I was like, so pretty. And I love the anime art style, so everything. Um, I'm excited to do that one. Um, I don't know if there's anyone. Oh, Harley from Dreamer Designs. Oh my gosh, I cannot wait to get to that kit. And I will get to that kit this year, probably around Halloween time. So those three <laughs> are the ones I'm most looking forward to doing. Um, and I think this is the last question before we get into the diamond painting tour. How many kits have I purchased this year so far? Um, a lot. <laughs> so when I started diamond painting, I never understood like the hoarding of the diamond paintings, the needing to buy every single diamond, new diamond painting that came out right then and there. I never understood it. I had, before I started my Instagram in the beginning of this year, I had, I think four or five stashed kits. Um, and then, um, <laughs> so let's take all these kits in my stash that I'm about to show you because I want to show you what I have right now or what I bought this year. And it's really not terrible, but that's just the stashed kits that I bought this year. There are kits that I've completed that this year in the past seven months that I've completed and that, or I'm sorry, that I purchased this year. So yeah, let's take a look at it. We'll take, we'll take a quick peek. So every single kit that you see here, um, I have bought this year. And then there's three more over there, but that's it. That's, this is my entire, this is my entire stash here. Um, it's not terrible. Um, I think I have 10 diamond art clubs, uh, four dreamer designs. I have two distracted by diamonds, one Mary's diamonds, and then one diamond shop 
uh, kit in there. Um, it's not terrible, but I have, I've purchased more than this, this year that I've completed. Um, I want to say that I've purchased probably over, over 20 kits this year. That's a lot. That's a lot. <laughs> this angle keeps changing. I apologize. Um, but yeah, it's definitely been over 20 kits that I've purchased just in the past six months alone. Um, I'm currently banning myself from purchasing anymore until I get through at least half of the 15 kits I have stashed. I'm pretty sure it's 15, um, but I still have three on pre-order. So that's, that's 18 kits right there that I'll have stashed. Um, which is too much for me. Too much. Too much. I need to get through them first. Okay, so the last question. How many diamond paintings have I completed so far this year? I have completed 12 kits so far, which is a decent amount of kits. I do a lot of larger diamond, diamond paintings, so it's kind of surprising that I've done 12 of them so far this year. Um, and what we're gonna do now is I'm gonna lay them all out. We're gonna take a little tour of them. I'm not gonna say anything about it, um, about the kits, but I want you to just take them in, in all their glory, take in the sparkle, take in everything. And I'll try to put the information or what I know, um, on the screen so you can take a look at it. And yeah, let's do that.
Okay, y'all, I think that concludes our mid-year diamond painting tag. Um, this was a lot of fun. I'm like sweating and out of breath from hauling out all the kits that I did. And I just, I'm sweaty. <laughs> I feel gross. Um, but this was so much fun. I hope you all enjoyed. And if you did, please give this video two thumbs up and um, subscribe to the channel if you enjoyed. We just hit 200 subscribers. What? What? <laughs> I don't, I don't know. I don't know how that happened. That's really, really cool. Thank you so much for being here. I'm glad that you enjoy what I'm putting out for you. And um, that's it. I hope you all have a wonderful morning, afternoon, <laughs> night, whenever it is you are watching this. And please remember to continue to spread positivity and creativity in your everyday lives. And I will see you all in my next video. Bye!